I had a boss years ago, and his theory was sometimes the best move is the one you don't make. There's so many moves going on all over tech and the media. Sometimes just stay put. People will make mistakes, and you'll move up by not moving down. Everybody wants to be, you know, seen as a visionary. I can see around corners. I'm going to take a big, splashy move. Sometimes the best move is the one you don't make. Discretion. And so I saw this this morning. I couldn't tell you the last time I led a show with the New York Knicks. But this was very encouraging. Apparently the Knicks were in contract talks with Paul George of the Clippers. Very good player, like him a lot. A lot of injuries, getting older, not getting healthier. And the Knicks said, we like a lot of this, but the price is too high. We're not going to do it. Ten years ago, it wouldn't have mattered the price. The Knicks would have made that move. Five years ago, the Knicks probably make that move. I've been told by a source I trust, they're not going to extend Paul George with the Clippers. Too many injuries, not available. Steve Ballmer's not into it, nor should he be. And I like Paul George. But the New York Knicks are really close to being really good. Now they're good. They're not really good. They're good. There's a lot of reasons they're good. Jalen Brunson, point guard, is not only effective and productive, he's got a very nice contract that shrinks next year and the year after. It doesn't go up. It goes down. It's not punitive to the team. Second reason Julius Randle's a nice complimentary piece. Two-time All-Star. Plays hard. Probably a three, not a two. But he plays his butt off. You know what you're getting. He's got a style. He leans into it. Number three is they have 11 first-round picks in the next seven years and all sorts of nice, movable parts. Uh, R.J. Barrett, Josh Hart, Emmanuel Quickly. Nice players you can move. A lot of teams would like those players. Not super expensive. And the fourth reason is they just won a playoff series. The building's full. People like being associated with the Knicks. It's the first time in a long time. They're not a tire fire. The best move is often the one you don't make. You see the Dallas Mavericks taking a swing at Kyrie and then doubling down. Doesn't that feel like panic? You see teams panic. Years ago, the Knicks panicked with Carmelo Anthony. They made a move in season, gave up the farm. By the time Melo got to the Knicks, they didn't have good supporting players. Rumor was after the year he was going to go to New York anyway. They panicked. Amari Stoudemire, Phoenix, bad knees. Everybody in Phoenix knew it. They panicked. Paul George is a really, really high-end two-way player. I'd love to see him on the Knicks, but the deal's got to be right. You've got momentum. You've got your quarterback. He and Randall are both on workable deals. You've got 11 first-round picks in seven years. You've got hard-working players with a coach that drives them that you could move in multiple deals. The Knicks are one smart move away from going from good to really good and two smart moves from going from good to really good to potentially great. They're here. Don't go after Dame. He's small. He's expensive. And you've already got a guy that should have his hands on the ball constantly, Jalen Brunson. Don't go after James Harden. Nobody says you're going to. Don't. He's too erratic. You've got young, hardworking, focused players. One smart move away. Don't panic. You panic with Stoudemire. You panicked with Melo. Paul George is one of my favorite two-way guys in the league. I'd make a deal, but it's got to be right. Don't give away too many picks. Don't give away guys who are supporting rotational players. The price has to be right. He wants an extension. If the Clippers are not going to give him an extension, why should you? Way to go, Knicks. Way not. Way not to make a rash move. All right, J-Mac. You're, 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 uh, I'm not sure if you're quite in line with that. I'm digesting it, Colin, and I pull up Lillard's contract. And you seem fine with Portland. Hey, we'll just we'll just keep Dame. We're not yeah. gonna, you know, lose him for pennies on the dollar. Yeah. He's making forty-five million dollars this year. Yeah. And he's gonna be soaking up a lot of minutes in the backcourt, a lot of shots from your young guys. You talk about this process yeah. built. Hey, let's get this new six-year process going. How can you do that with Dame on the roster? Well, let me ask you. 
what would be wrong playing Scoot 26 minutes and not 42? Well, how's he playing 26 when they still got Shaden Sharp, Anthony Simons, who you're paying uh, 24 mil? There's just a log jam of players. I don't think Scoot can get 10 minutes with Dame Lillard out Scoot, there healthy. Dame and Simons. Three guards rotate. Dame gets the most minutes. I mean, and again, if, shots, if, I if you think Miami's... It, oh, by the way, uh, they also kept uh, your guy... Um, uh, Jeremy Grant at like $31 million a year. Don't love that number. contract. Don't love it. But he's not a bad player. He's an 18-9 guy, isn't he? He's a so decent player. So when do you decide, hey, you know what, Dame? Uh, we wanted to do you right, but you know what? We got to do what's best for us. Well, and you didn't want to leave last year when we could have sold you for a lot more. Ask yourself this. Why is all this stuff leaking? Because everybody wants it out. Because both sides want to make a deal. The, the reason anything gets out is because somebody wants it out. You and I have secrets. You and I know stuff. Doesn't know get out stuff. if we don't want it out. I know stuff. Yeah, you know stuff. <laughs> the Tyler Hero Portland angle. It keeps getting out. We're not including him. Like, that's not going to be the deal. Why yeah. do I know that? Because Miami's offered Tyler Hero as a gem of the deal. And Portland leaks it. Not interested. That's telling every team in the league. that We're not taking that Miami deal. All this stuff is being leaked because people want it mm. out. It's telling you Miami wants to do the deal quickly, and so does Portland. But I, this idea that Portland's got no leverage, I don't buy. Dame's not going to go and sulk. He's not. That's not who he is. Also, he's a scorer. So he's the kind of guy, like it'd be one thing if he was Ben Wallace, he was a 10-10 and 10 <laughs> effort guy, and he didn't give you the effort. Like that guy, Dame's a scorer. He's not going to go on the floor and not shoot. And when you hit baskets, you get cheered and loved. Anywhere Dame goes, he's going to be loved. And by the way, he had injuries the last two seasons. What if he gets hurt again? At what point does anybody want to trade for him uh, for any kind of deal that Portland benefits from? This is just a disaster of a situation. I know you're trying to put lipstick on a pig again, which I appreciate to start the show. But, Colin, this is a, I would say, unmitigated disaster <laughs> for Portland. They, imagine if they had traded him and said, last summer. You could have got like a Gobert-type return, like five number one first-round picks for Dame last summer. Now, Tyler Hero and, and some spare parts. Gonna, uh, gonna be bleak. A, gonna be a third team involved. Oh, yeah. three, you, now, know what the, you know what they say. A three-team deal is a no-team deal because they're impossible to make happen. All right, so you and I just – I think Portland's going to do fine. Remember, okay. when you trade the star, you almost never get equal value back. When the Lakers yeah. traded Shaq, they didn't get equal parts. What you hope to get is good picks, serviceable players, and get better fast. And they did. They eventually got Pau Gasol, right? But in the end, Miami's going to win the deal if they get him the first two years because they're getting a superstar joining two other stars. We, don't, we know Portland's not going to win this deal. But if Portland gets three, four picks – and guys with expiring contracts, and then one nice rota rotational player, in three years, Portland could have won the deal. Because as you okay. said, Dame's an injury away from not the same player. So you have to realize, when you trade a star, whoever gets the star wins the deal for two years. Right? Shaq in Miami won the deal. Yeah. But five years later, the Lakers used picks and players. Gasol... They were good for years. Yeah. I think they got to the finals three and won two. Yeah. So the Lakers won that deal over time. They got more titles out of it.